Hey YouTube, it's just me, Ted 1969 here. We're checking out my Star Wars haul a little bit late here from the game uh, from Force Friday, which was this past Friday, September 30th, also my birthday. So anyway, that was a fun thing to do uh, on my birthday morning. I felt like uh, seven years old again and not 47. So went out and spent a lot of money uh, that uh, I could have probably put elsewhere, but you only live once. So. Here we are, and I got four figures, and I got the TIE Striker vehicle, which seemed pretty cool to me. Um, so we'll take a look at the figures here. Got Jyn Erso, which I didn't uh, take out of the box yet, but she was there, and uh, looks pretty cool. She's got a blaster pistol, and I'm assuming that burka thing comes off of her head. And uh, there she is. So it looks pretty cool. Decent articulation points. I don't think you'll see through the plastic in there with this poor lighting that I'm in. I can't get too far with my camera tonight because it's hooked up to a USB cord. Uh, so we've got Cassian Andor here. He's a pretty cool looking figure. Looks pretty cool in the movie too. So a decent fella and uh, his little head uh, dress comes off here. So that's his uh, winter headgear. And uh, the attention to detail on the sculpt is quite nice. I find he looks quite well. Rock and a goatee, kind of a Hoth, uh, Han and Luke uh, throwback parka there. Some good boots and pants. So you know he's dressed for some cold weather here. It's coming with a coming with a little blaster pistol and a bit of a heavier blaster there, and good articulation. And as you can see, I'm not sure what the actor's height is in real life, but uh, compared to K2SO. There's a good difference in height there. I would say, oh, a good maybe three fingers in height between them. So that's about an inch and a half, two inches. Uh, so yeah, K2SO, pretty cool droid. Harkens back to the uh, Jabba's Palace droid that wants to torture R2 and 3PO. Uh, nice detail work on them. Little bits of silver, I guess, to indicate some wear and tear. And uh, he has an Imperial insignia on him, on his shoulders. And uh, the only thing about the droid, he's got a cool antenna back there. I wish his head came back a little more. It would not go back any more than that. And as you can see on his body, I know he's so tall he's looking down on everyone. But uh, it would kind of look a little more right to me to be uh, there. Other than that, very spindly looking, looking droid. I don't know how intimidating that would be. I guess kind of intimidating if you've seen it coming towards you. Uh, got the Death Trooper, which doesn't seem the right name for details. Uh, according to the box, he's detailed to protect the research centers uh, for the Imperial, where they're obviously making the plans up for the Death Star and that sort of thing. Uh, I guess he'd have to be fairly elite, but... Uh, not too interesting on the armor. They don't even have Imperial Insignia, so I guess this is kind of going to the uh, black helicopters of uh, Roswell type of thing. So maybe he's just that elite. Uh, comes with a blaster pistol and a blaster rifle. And uh, other than that, very plain and very black. Just a little bit of hint of silver here and there in him. And uh, on his harness, on, a, on his mask. And you don't really get a lot else besides that. Uh... So, a cool figure, but I guess visually not too exciting. Uh, the cat's around because she likes the TIE Striker fighter here. So, for something being a bit of a retcon into the Star Wars universe, where we don't see it in the original trilogy, it's a cool-looking TIE, and uh, the wings are uh, very flexible, so I guess they don't want to hurt any kids with them. And uh, they'll fold up into a kind of a... An anhedral instead of a, or a dihedral instead of an anhedral like this uh, position, so they're angled up at about the same angle instead of angled down. Hey, you don't eat anything. And uh, it's got a cool little nerf launcher here on the bottom that can shoot the included two nerf projectiles. And uh, let's see here. So it opens up, and you get a five point of articulation TIE fighter pilot. Comes with a little bra blaster pistol. Interesting looking pilot. He's got a military insignia on his shoulders and on his helmet. So visually, he's more interesting looking than the uh, the Death Trooper. Inside of the fighter is not uh, 
not too exciting to see. I'm looking in the cockpit here and hopefully the light shows. Uh, there's details of controls molded in, but there's no stickers or anything luminous like that. So not quite as interesting as the uh, Vintage Collection TIE Interceptor was that came out a few years ago. But anyway, it's a decent little toy and uh, they'll probably come out uh, cheaper you know, next year once they start releasing the next big movies. But for now, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's what I got for my Force Friday, and uh, I hope everybody else made out good and found all that they wanted to. I didn't get into the city for any Toys R Us raids or any of the uh, exclusive figures there. These were all got at my local Walmart, which I have to say for this part of Nova Scotia, I was fairly impressed to get this much uh, as it was. So that's what I've got, and I'll sign off for now. Just me, Ted, 1969. May the Force be with you.